Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I'm tracking a weather system that will bring some showers around here, but as far as long duration or heavy amounts of rain, I don't see that. Let me show you what I'm tracking, which, well, not much in the way of rain, even though uh, some shower chances, not so much this evening, but uh, for a portion of tomorrow, and actually the better chance would actually come not so much tomorrow day, but rather tomorrow night, and not mainly on the light side. I'll show you that in more detail in just a second. Temperatures have been pretty good for mid-October. It's not terribly cold. We're not you know, talking frost or freeze at least not yet. Nights are in the 50s. Afternoon high temperatures next couple of days. Upper 60s to around 70. That's pretty good for this time of year. Still seeing signs of a weather pattern change by roughly the middle of next week where we're going to open up Canada, allow some uh, colder air to work in. Could be the first frost or freeze for some areas. A kind of a widespread situation for the middle of next week and we'll highlight that in the seven day future cast in just a second you see gray skies in providence but the atmosphere is fairly dry so not seeing any precipitation temperature at 60 winds light out of the northeast at seven relative humidity now coming in at 80 percent 57 in smithfield low 60s along the south shore the combination of high humidity and a cloud cover that usually keeps the temperature from falling rapidly so it'll be cool tonight but we certainly wouldn't call it uh, cold and it'll be well above freezing one area of rain off shore staying away a batch of heavier rain in upstate New York will actually lift up into northern New England now this is the piece of the weather system that I'm tracking for tomorrow Again, the best chance as far as steady precipitation from this would actually come tomorrow night very early on Friday morning. Let's take a look at future cast. Just follow the clock right up in here. Of course, the gray represents the cloud cover. The green would represent rain. We don't see any for this evening and overnight. Now, we'll start with patchy cloud, actually patchy fog and clouds tomorrow morning. Kind of a slow start with the sunshine. But by the afternoon hours, we'll see some breaks of sunshine. Here we are at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's more of a cloud-sun mixture. So brighter, warmer the second half of the day. And then clear sky skies early tomorrow evening before more clouds roll in late at night. So for this evening, mainly cloudy, some patchy fog late at night, well after midnight towards daybreak tomorrow, mid 50s, starting off with clouds, humid, some early morning fog, temperature at 65, at least partly sunny skies the second half of the day. That should help the temperatures nicely, upper 60s to around 70 on a southwest breeze at 5 to 10. Bus stop forecast, a little fog uh, early in the morning, temperature at 58, just a light jacket for the little ones. Better tomorrow afternoon, certainly milder for recess and dry too with a mix of clouds and hazy sun looking good for most of Friday still painting a dry cool comfortable weekend both Saturday and Sunday again best chances for rain not so much during the daylight hours of tomorrow but rather late tomorrow night a few of these may spill over into early Friday morning but tell you what 90% of Friday looks good showers ending early in the morning here comes the sun the warmer temperatures too by Friday afternoon once the sunshine gets to work upper 60s to low 70s and the weekend still looks okay a partly to mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday, slightly cooler with daytime highs in uh, the mid-60s. So not too bad. Okay, thanks, Tony.